So that was the song that I heard for somebody. And it was by Sugar Minot. And it's called A Good Thing Going. So I shuffled the Rider Waite deck today. And this is what I got for you. So we're starting this reading with the Eight of Wands. And I see that something happened really fast for you in your life. And I'm getting, it could be a relationship that you went into. So maybe you met someone when you was real young and you got married pretty quick. And yeah, you've been with this person for a long time. You've been married to this person for a long time. That's what I'm getting. But it all happened really fast when you was young. That's how I'm feeling here. Yes, yeah, so and next I got the Ten of Cups. And I see that you've got a family with this person, a real wish fulfillment. You've got the Ten of Cups. So not only are you in love, you've built together, you've had children together, you love each other mentally and physically. That's what I'm getting. And you've got a beautiful family together. That's what I can see here. I see a lot of love. I'm feeling a lot of love in this card. Yeah, so next I pulled the Four of Swords. And I see someone here who always comes home at night. The yeah, type. the type who's always back home after work kind of thing. Who always sleeps at home with you and your family. Yeah, not a disappointment kind of guy. Someone who always makes sure, you know, he knows where he's his home is kind of thing so that yeah just the type who always returns home to you so you haven't got like a player kind of you know relationship you've got a proper man who always comes home that's what i'm getting with the four of swords yeah so next i got the lovers card and i see a perfect couple here so you're both perfect for each other I see a lot of sexual attraction too. So I'm getting that you have a lot of sex with your person. And you, you're deeply in love with each other. That's what I'm getting. But I feel like you're meant to be together. That's how I'm looking at this with the lovers. You two are perfect for each other. That's what I can see. Yeah. So next I pulled the King of Cups in reverse. But I see something happen with this King of Cups. So maybe, you know, this King of Cups might have been disloyal to you in the past, maybe. Or maybe this is now. So I've got the King of Cups and I've got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And I'm here in polyogamy. So maybe you two have an open marriage. That's what I'm getting. Yes, yeah. so maybe you have an open marriage where you both like see other people, but you still, you know, return to each other as one at the end of this you know kind of thing so um, yeah i see a polyogamous relationship with the king of cooks and the nine of pentacles i see side men and i see side chicks too so maybe you both you know you you have other partners too but you've got this open marriage polyogamous marriage where you both you know see other people but you always return back to each other that's what I'm picking up here. So next I pulled the Wheel of Fortune. But I'm getting this is like some kind of karmic situation where you, you know, you're supposed to be lo the lover. So you're perfect for each other in God's eyes. And that's who you're meant to be with. But you're having this like polyogamous relationship where it's open, where you get to go and see others. And I feel like it's a karmic situation. It's a karmic contract that you're in at the moment because you are really meant to be together. That's what I'm picking up. So these side chicks and side men, you know, could bring a lot of karmic situations into your relationship. That's what I'm feeling with the Wheel of Fortune. And I asked what the Wheel of Fortune was and I got the Magician in reverse. So I'm getting, it's a lot of like, mental fuckery that's going to happen to one of you or both of you so maybe having all these you know affairs are going to like mentally play with your minds or one of your minds like one of you might you know get really stressed out with the other one when he's having these affairs or when she's having these affairs, the other one might, you know, lose it kind of thing. Because it is going to, you know, play with each other's emotions in the end and cause, like, a lot of, 
you know, friction between the two of you and your relationship. So I'm seeing a lot of mental fuckery happening to the two of you, maybe, throughout these decisions that you've made. So that could be some of the karma that you're getting for, you know, playing the field. That's what I'm kind yes, of getting. Next, I've got the two of ones, and I see some trouble happening here. Yeah, I feel like someone might catch feelings for somebody else throughout all of this polyogamous relationship. Someone might catch feelings for somebody else and bring this person into your relationship. That's what I'm getting. So that could be the rest of the karma that you receive for, you know, living this lifestyle. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, because I asked for some clarity on the whole situation. And I got the three of swords. So I definitely see a love triangle here. Yeah, third party could enter your marriage. That's what I'm getting. And this person's going to stay in it for a very long time. I'm getting at least three years. This person is going to be, you know, binded to your relationship because of the karma that you're going to receive for, you know, having multiple partners that that's what i'm picking up so some heavy karma's coming in for you guys in the future you know it could be after like a threesome as well that's what i'm hearing you're going to receive karma where this person is stuck to you too is bound to you too for a very long time a lot of trouble and problems are going to occur in you in your marriage after this after you've met this person or these people that's what i'm getting and this is your message so i hope this message helps you so please like comment share and subscribe bye guys